вітаю. Мене звати Ірина Матвійшин і це теплі зустрічі з Моншеф. Сьогодні у нас в гостях австрійський диригент, містер Матіас Георг Кендлінгер та його син Максиміліан Кендлінгер. Hello, Mr. Matthias. Good morning. Hello, Maximilian. How was your stay in Lviv? Very nice, like always. <laughs> it's not your first time, so every time you arrive here, what do you feel? What are your impressions when you're here? Yes, it's not my first time. I, I don't know how many times I come. I come nearly every month, one week to Lviv. It's my second home since 20 years. And I come first time to Lviv, and since this time I feel a little bit like home here, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's very comfortable. And also to be in this nice hotel. I am a long time always with director. Mm -hmm. This hotel, in, in the beginning we was in another hotel, another hotel, and now in this wonderful Astoria hotel. What about Maximilian? Is it your first time or you've been here before? I've been here before uh, 15 times and I feel also very good because the people, I like them and I feel that this city is very a cultural city, so I like it. Thank you. Uh, could you please take, let us take a glimpse into your plans for this time? I know that uh, on 24th of May there will be a special day for you both, right? Because you will have a founding concert of your new orchestra. Um, could you please tell us more about that? Yes, this is a really special time and special day, this uh, founding concert of the new orchestra, uh, KMK Symphonica. And for me, very special is my son Maximilian, his first time uh, the leader, the conductor of this uh, concert and I, I stay every day in the rehearsals uh, now and yeah. I listen very good music, very nice music. I see on the stage a lot of euphoric people from Lviv and region Lviv. So it will be, it should be a very good concert. And for you, Maximilian, it must be a really different experience. I know I, I've seen a video uh, of you uh, directing uh, the music, the concert in Dusseldorf in the age of 13, and it was amazing. And but it's not your first experience uh, in V, but uh, still you will be directing 50 people, right? And uh, do you feel nervous? I, at the moment, I'm in a process. I. I think that if you're not nervous, um, it's not a special time. If you are nervous, it's for me special because uh, I feel very good to work with orchestra to do this process. And I think the musicians have also fun and I have also much fun. How do you prepare for that? Um, how do you overcome fear and where do you find encouragement? To, when you step on the stage, for example, imagine you have a concert today. How do you emotionally and morally prepare for that? Uh, <laughs> I will see on 24th of May. It, it, for me, it's uh, normal. And uh, Mr. Kenlinger, do you often give some advices for your son when he steps on the stage and he, ha he has to direct people? Mm, yes, sometimes. Not so often, but sometimes uh, Maximilian asks me and I uh, tell him something about this or, or mm -hmm. this. But uh, Maximilian is a self-learning man. He looks long time what I do and what the different conductors, what they, they uh, the, the process from them. And uh, yes, we work together. Sometimes he tell me something for me, you know. He look at me and ask me why this is not clear. And I say, yes, thank you, Maximilian. I can learn from him and he can learn from me. Yes, it's a good process. We are like colleagues. <laughs> That's good. And uh, you know, parents, they always try to control everything. How is it in your case? No, this is uh, absolutely not possible in this moment because 
uh, this is his own concert and he prepared the rehearsals and everything. So uh, uh, conductor is the, the leader of the concert and a special conductor gives emotions, gives idea about dramaturgy, about everything. So I have to say nothing mm -hmm. because I, only when Maximilian asked me what do you feel in this place or this place, I, I tell him what I feel in this moment, but uh, he prepare everything and it's important. I have, uh, I have not to say too much, yes, because uh, he is uh, he's a conductor and he has big talent, so he don't need mm -hmm. my control, yes, <laughs> because I'm, for me it's important to control my work, because uh, it's not like uh, children with three years, we have to look about <laughs> don't fall down and everything. It's a serious work process and uh, for me it's uh, very nice to see that my son Maximilian is interesting for the same, for the same profession mm -hmm. like me and I really enjoy it. Uh, it is really uh, unusual that um, in the age of 13 uh, someone can direct the orchestra. And I would like to ask, do you have any advices for parents who are upbringing their children in this uh, musical uh, direction? Do you have any, anything to suggest to them? Yes, what can I say? What I think, uh, we have to do our job with clear opinion and we have to enjoy our job and maybe our children understand what can be in the life mm -hmm. so it can be harmony and it can be good for people and everything i think one of the important points of parents is to be clear with yourself it's not so important to say you must do this you must do this not uh, in my opinion, children know very good what they want. But for us, I think for parents, it's more important to show them, but not like a show, uh, like serious, what we want and what we love. Mm -hmm. And they will understand without words. Yeah, and what about you, Maximilian? How do you feel being such a young musical director? I feel very good. Uh, I think not everyone gets the chance and uh, I know that it's for me a, a good chance to work, to get um, early, uh, this early work, it's not uh, logic for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm working with orchestra and it's a process, my first process. And we will see you on 24th of May, but I think it will be good, the concert. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, last summer uh, you had a concert in Dolina, right? And it was the first uh, private-founded um, concert uh, in Ukraine, which, which was tightening Austro-Ukrainian Austro um, friendships, so to say, in cultural way, right? And it was the first uh, private concert uh, since Austro-Hungarian monarchy. And um, why do you feel is it important for you to um, contribute to this tightening of um, these connections between Ukraine and Austria? Yes, the concert was not from me. It was the capella from my home, mm -hmm. my small village. They come uh, first time without some money from the state or something else with their own money uh, and with invitation from uh, Dolina Bürgermeister Major and uh, they come first time here only for interesting uh, to to know what is Ukraine you know because they know Ukraine only from television and some politics and this and this mm -hmm. And always when I tell them what I feel here and what I see, uh, they don't really understand what is West Ukraine, yes? 
I can only speak about West Ukraine because I have never been in East Ukraine. Mm -hmm. uh, and first point, uh, the major of Tolina was in our 20 years uh, party in Austria and he listened to this music and he invites the music. And only after this uh, inviting, I asked the friendship between Austria and Ukraine, the office in Austria, mm -hmm. uh, what they know there was before some capella, uh, some capella uh, in, in Ukraine, and they tell me, no, it's the first time after the war that one capella comes to Ukraine, oh. and they was in Tolina, and Max was with the capella, and they uh, really have very interesting days and they enjoy it and they some of them tell me musician it will be maybe the the best days all over my life to to understand this land and to understand these people and they have very good feeling after this long mm -hmm. trip and what was your impression max after this concert uh, my impression was very good because I saw my friends from Capella had a lot of fun in this uh, in Tolina and also in Lviv. Um, they saw the country that the country is uh, a very nice country. The peoples are very social, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And for for them, it was a, a great chance to come. When you come to Lviv. Uh, they say that it usually smells like coffee and chocolate. For you as musicians, how does Lviv sound like? For me, Lviv sounds like group, private groove. You know? <laughs> it's a very cultural city and in my opinion this city is a very creative city because Every year I see something new in this city, mm -hmm. and very new. First time we are um, since 20 years in Tournai, all over Europe, all uh, big cities in Europe, and every, nearly every, not every month, but every year I see something new, new restaurant, new idea, and so I can say maybe in this city is very high level creativity. Mm -hmm. And this is very nice. Uh, and yes, uh, I love these people. Uh, I go on the street and I feel comfortable. And uh, yes, uh, what can I say? It's my second home. You travel around the world uh, with your concerts and uh, you see different audiences. And uh, people in Europe, they appreciate your music. Um, do you think uh, people in Lviv, they have a special taste for music? They have some special um, things they like and special special feeling about music? I think uh, the people in Lviv have not special. I think they have the same, the same idea about music because all over the world, and th this is one point what the music makes so interesting, all over the world the people love good music mm -hmm. and they love music with uh, intensity with, with sign with, with you know these special things behind the music mm -hmm. yes and uh, that's why um, we begin our concerts here in Lviv with um, not so big audience but after years every concert from us is sold out sometimes long time before and sometimes we have from the same program we play two times the same and both concerts sold out so we have now a good public and uh, a lot of time public come come to office or say thank you for this very nice concert for us it's very important that concert is not only concert the concert should give the people something they can use it for the life, you know, some different idea about life and some, maybe some uh, ground of changing something, you know. Mm -hmm. This is for me the first point for live music. 
not only music. Music is good, but we can, we have a lot of music. We have pop music, we have jazz and everything, but one, my important uh, idea of classical music and uh, this concert is to give people more than, 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 than the, note, the notes mm -hmm. can, mm -hmm. can give. And uh, now the question goes to Maximilian. Uh, what are your interests beside mu besides music? Uh, I, think, I think you work a lot uh, for your musical talent to develop, right? But what, what do you do um, except, of, except for music? <laughs> it's not... Uh, music is my life because I, I'm in office, then I come home, I have to go to piano listen, then I go to uh, with my group to play mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or have a rehearsal. I think uh, music is not only uh, should be uh, a thing you have to do. I think music has to be like a hobby if you like it. Mm -hmm. But when I not um, play music or make something for music, I'm. I also go on the mountains or go in nature. In Austria. Yes, in Austria. Uh, in your hometown or somewhere. In my hometown, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, on the mountains in my hometown. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you travel often with your father, or uh, Ukraine is your one destination? Yes, I also go on Strauss tournee with my father. I get the chance to go with him on the biggest uh, concert houses in Europe. It's also a great chance to go there. Okay, thank you. And um, what are your favorite places in Lviv uh, where you can find good music and where you like to spend time for good music? This Except is of Philharmonia. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very hard question. <laughs> Because my favorite places, the, the places are so different. In this long time, there is some, sometimes one bar, you know, we, there is, uh, what is this, beer, beer bar with live music. They play Ukrainian <laughs> groove, you know. And sometimes there is some chess music in a bar. And sometimes I love, to go on a quiet place, you know, upstairs uh, to the, what is called, the, the small mountain. Uh, Wysoki Zamok. Yeah, Zamok. We was yesterday, for example, a little bit to look to the city and everything. And sometimes we come to good restaurant, nice place for us musicians always is before the opera. Mm -hmm. We go, I think also it's a, dif a difficult feeling of day. Often we go to Pier Theater mm -hmm. and also we have to get down from music to... Uh, take a rest. Yes, yes, take a rest. <laughs> so I think it's difficult. You can see also musicians on the street. It's also great, but yes, it's difficult. Each day. Thank you. Thank you very much for this interesting conversation. I wish you a pleasant preparation for your concert. I wish you a great um, start for your um, for your this first ex ex great experience you will have on 24th of May here. Thank you very much.